Good day grade 12s. Welcome to week 27. We're still doing probability and today we can introduce you to the fundamental counting principle. Sounds like a very scary thing but it actually isn't. Let's look at it. So what it says is if successive choices are made from M1, M2, M3 through to Mn then the number of combined options is the product. So therefore it would be M1 times M2 times M3 times da 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 da. Oh, horrible theory. Let me show you an example. Okay, if I communicate with my friend and I communicate with her by letter, email or telephone. So how many ways can I communicate with her? I can communicate with her one, two, three ways. And he, sorry it is a guy, communicates back by telephone or email email. Then there are six possible ways of communicating, okay? Because I can communicate three ways and he can communicate two ways. So therefore six possible ways of communicating. I was going through this with my matrix this year and we suddenly realized that what with the new technology there are so many ways to communicate that it actually would be ridiculous not to be communicate to not communicate with someone. I mean you think about it there's Snapchat, there's Twitter, there is WhatsApp, there is BBM if you have that, there is all these types of ways. Never mind your emails and the really old snail mail and telephone and fax etc etc. There are thousands of ways that we can communicate. Anyway I digress. Let's move on. So let's look at an example. A boy is buying a sandwich and he finds that he can choose, right, he can choose white, brown or whole wheat bread. So how many options does he have there? He's got three options. Yeah he can choose chicken, cheese, tuna or roast beef. So he can choose four options. Yeah, he can choose lettuce, tomato or radish, so that's three options. He can have his sandwich toasted or plain, so that's two options. So it says how many different sandwiches can he order? Well, he can order three times four times three times two. So he could order 72 different sandwiches and that's all that the theory was saying was that depending on the number of choices we can find out how many different choices we can get all together. So just as an example I could choose white and chicken and lettuce and toasted or I could choose white and cheese and lettuce and toasted or I could choose white and chicken and lettuce and plain etc etc. So that's how we get to our 72 choices. Now let's talk about permutations. Permutations are the way, number of ways that I can arrange the data. Okay, so for example, how many ways can I arrange six different books on the shelf? So the solution is, especially in this case, to draw a box. We are going to draw a box where we've got six places with one, two, three, four, five and six. So do you agree that my first book I can place either yeah, 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 or yeah. Or you could think of it as that I could place any of the six books here. So I've got six options here. Yeah, what is left? I've only got five options. Then I've only got four options. Then I've got only got three. Then I've got two. And then unfortunately the last book just has to be in that place. So therefore do you see that the number of permutations that I could have is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 which is equal to 720 but we give this a special name. When we take 6 times all the numbers below it we call that 6 factorial and we show that it's a factorial by using an exclamation mark. So for example 4 factorial would be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 and 3 factorial is just going to be 3 times 2 times 1. So 6 factorial is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 which is 720. So there's 720 ways that we can arrange our six different books on our shelf. Right. Now let's look at arranging a selection of objects. So let's say I've got nine different books and I want to know how many ways can I arrange five of them on the shelf. 
So solution, we only therefore have five boxes, right? But I have nine books. So I can take any of my nine books and put it in the first box. And now I've only got eight books. So then I can take any of those eight books and put it in the second box. Then I've only got seven books. So then I can put any of the seven books in the third box, etc, etc. But there are only five boxes on my shelf because I can only arrange, it says how many ways can I arrange five of them. So I'm only choosing five of my books. So the solution for this is this. We have our nine factorial divided by four factorial. Okay, the way this works is that actually we gain 9 factorial divided by 9 minus 5. So our solution is 9 factorial over 4 factorial, which is the same as 9 factorial over 9 minus 5. And we write this as the probability of 9 and we've only limiting it to five objects. So then we go nine minus five is four factorial. So you understand that that would be nine times eight times seven times six times five times four times three times two times one all over four times three times two times one and the 4 cancels with the 4, and the 3 cancels with 3, and the 2 cancels with 2, and the 1 cancels 1, and we just left with 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5. However, if you look closely in your calculator, you will actually see a little factorial button. It's an exclamation mark. So that becomes 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5, and it becomes... 15,000, no, 15,120. So there are 15,120 ways that I can arrange my nine books, um, arrange five of my nine books. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, let's look at another example. It says, how many ways can I arrange the letters of M of the word M-K-U-M-K-U-T-U? So it's M -kum Okay, but now what do you notice? First of all, let's count our letters. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got eight letters all together. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight letters all together. But do you see that we've got two M's? We've got two M's. We also have two K's and we've got three U. So we need to take that into consideration when we talk about how many ways we can arrange the letters. So our solution becomes nine factorial, okay, divided by two factorial times by the two factorial times by the three factorial. One. This is supposed to be 8 factorial. I'm so sorry. That is supposed to be 8 factorial. So it's 8 factorial over 2 factorial, 2 factorial, 3 factorial. Why? Because we're taking into consideration the fact that these repeat. That's the 2 factorial there. We're taking into consideration that the 2 k's repeat. So that's that 2. And we're taking into consideration the u's. So let's work that out for ourselves quickly. That becomes 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 equals, so that equals 40,320 divided by 24 which equals 40,320 divided by 24 equals 1680 and that is our answer. So that's it, grade 11, I mean grade 12, so that's how you use the counting principle, the fundamental counting principle. Please go and practice this and go and make sure you understand it, make sure you understand how to use factorials and then go do the assessment at the end of the week. Have a great day, grade 12s.